On October 12, 2018, a collaboration occurred between Faith Music and Movies, FMM, an organic life coffee house and bakery. The purpose of the night's event was a simple open mic night. But the Lord God had a different plan and as you will see this simple open mic collaboration included supernatural moments which only the mighty hand of Yahweh could have produced. Holy Spirit of Spirits, thank you, we worship you for giving us this impressive peace and faith. Yeah, it's shake it, it, it's shake it, it, it's shake it all. Songwriters passed away. Uh, I did. Ask, I actually got to meet him. I said, "Yes." It's just sad to see such a prolific songwriter and singer. Take him home, and I never need to see him again. It was a Jefferson Airplane. He was looking at seven years of 
Uh, but he was a great, to me, he was skull, beautiful. Like a puzzle. I mean, he was the one Open it up so the ring can grow. He was the one who kept bringing, like, when, every time they got themselves in he trouble, would, he would write them, like, yeah, something yes, like miracles or hearts or uh, count on me God is or good. run, 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 run So tell me how you feel. This is one of those songs I... I trust it. It's going to take a little bit. No, we'll pray one more time. First year that I really liked, I would... Try to do it justice. You received that, Joanne? Can you shake it? Did it in my soccer? Summer had me. According to simple nature, caught in death, but only part in life for each time. So we let our Holy Spirit and the mystery to the body and the joy of your life. Entire deep, fed by the spirit and constant to God. There's a need that I receive a spirit that makes the state of fear. It's a concept. Spirit of sonship, my father, that mother, we cry, Abba, his spirit is the prize, we are got children, we are lies, there's got children, we are his, Christ called, there's indeed his love, we got story, we may also then to say, in Christ's glory, consider this presence of our men, not with comparing to the glory revealed in us, Christ according to creation, wait to be an education for the sons of God that we reveal. Now by its own choice, the body will be the one who is the one who is the one the creation itself would be liberated from its bondage to the day and brought into the glorious freedom of the church and of God. One day, well knowing the whole creation is being grown in them, I think the child birth right up to this present time zone in. We who have the first fruits of the spirit don't give me as we wait to be the people of our adoption as sons. The redemption of our bodies in this hope we save. For hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what we already have? But if we hope for what we do not have, we wait for the patient being. Only take on the Lord of God. So it helps me live my life with patience.
Noticed spiritual discernment. Some call this phenomena orb activity, but in reality, we are observing the Lord of Hosts. The Holy Spirit links reality and is in all places at all times in an omnipresent mode. Psalm 139:78, KJV. Just ask you to bring blessings to everybody here. that this was a time of refreshing and I would just pray that we all come back safe, sound, that we can make it back and if not, bless them on their way wherever they go in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Preston. Thank you for sharing. All right, Brie, Brie, you are a weird little girl. She comes by it honest. Larry! I raised her mother. Larry! So the, how often are these open these open mics? What? How What's the name of this place? Organic Life Coffee House. And what, how often are these open mics? Every second to, uh, Friday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday. Awesome. Amen. Every second Friday, seven o'clock. Amen. Same channel, same match. You heard it first. Jehovah, Jehovah Soja, you gotta come here. Organic life. Where are we? Palm Harbor. Palm Harbor. Palm Harbor, Florida. Either on vacation or not, you gotta come here. The Lord is here. Amazing owners are here. Great talent and for everybody in a safe place environment. God bless you and have a. We love you entirely. All right, say bye bye, hun. Tell them bye bye. Thank you. So we drove to Falafel and Cafe in Clearwater, Florida. The Lord God blessed us with another spontaneous conversation and coffee session, whereas we verbalized, 
he provided supernatural backdrop. In the midst of the sickness. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you gotta be aware who is of the Lord and who isn't. This separation is taking place now. And you gotta you gotta be conscious on exactly where God's leading you. Because there's a specific calling that God has already gave you that you're supposed to fulfill. But I'm going to pray for her tonight. It's it. I already had a Back in my mind. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that what, brother, what's your calling? As a prophet. As a prophet, and how how were you? Where were you when when that word came? And and was it a prophet that told the prophet? Or no, God told me Himself. You then heard he him. Came, then he came and confirmed it. He came and confirmed it. Once or more than once? More than once. <laughs> Probably six or seven times. So basically, you know, um, I had to stay in humility and uh, humbleness to receive what God was saying. And then in due time and due season, he said, I will exalt you. So he did. Which is so true. How old are you, brother? I'm 43 years old. I've been walking with the Lord since I was probably 24. Yeah, about 24 years old. Yeah, about 18 years now. Amen. And this was something in Ohio? Yeah. Were your parents believers? No. I'm the only one that's standing right with God. I'm the forerunner of my family. You have a light beam going right from the heaven right into you right now. I'm recording it, and I'll show you when you're done recording that I'm not kidding. It's, wow. The video can't lie. <laughs> and you just have another one right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I, you, as amazing. I'm saying it, you'll see it. <laughs> it's amazing. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So then, what did, um, what did, what do you walk, how are you walking now? How are you, what are you, are you just going with the, with the spiritual flow? Pretty much. Pretty much I'll go with the flow, whatever God wants to do. So basically, I'm trying to find my place too as well, you know, so more or less to find my, um, my post where God wants me, my region that he said I would have. Your post? Yeah. Or your post? Yeah, my post, yeah. So where would be my region? And I don't know where that's at yet. So when I find that, <laughs> there's a greater release that's going to come. Have you ever noticed that God will have it already done for you? And then it's something that you already walked through, but you didn't notice? You're probably right. Uh, I think tonight, when you walked in, you may have been a little bit befuddled. Was he a little befuddled? Right? But didn't he bring something that we, that we, it was kind of like, it, it broke some kind of an ice. The religious spirit. Yeah. There was a, go bye -bye. There was a religious spirit. That's funny you go said bye -bye. There You was always a break spirit. off religious spirits because they cannot stand you. Yeah, man. There was a religion for spirit. Because you are well. not She's religious. Right. She is so right because, like, you know, nothing personal with the owner, but I really feel like he had a spirit of religion. On Blast them. I mean, but I was standing. Well, you know, I talked to him, and he's in between what a lot of us go through, and that is that, like, the guy here, the owner, if they don't pay, if they don't have a constant income, then they're challenged, you know, and if those are our friends and they close down, then nobody wins. So he's, I think, a little bit between... This is not about buying and selling, bro. God's coming out there. That's merchandising. And God's going, no. Well, you have to. That's coming to an end. Well, you have a store. Yeah, I understand that. Like I understand that 100%, month, but, yeah. but what you're really picking up... Sister, you got a glow on you. You think? You know, <laughs> no, I'm I, I'm looking at it. Oh, good. <laughs> Praise oh, the Lord. Yes, sir. So, brother, tell us a little bit about your background. Well, uh, I met with the Lord about uh, seven years ago, and uh, I was a mess. I was addicted to a lot of things. And simply, the Lord healed me from all of that, and He... Uh, consecrate me and that's it that's my joy he became my joy you got glitter all behind you <laughs> uh, uh, we don't need any special effects brother 
We got verification. <laughs> you got the Holy Spirit is just overshadowing you, brother. I love you, you'll see the video. I, I, yes, I, I no longer exist. <laughs> That's what I've been asking the Lord to take me out and He take over and, and lead me in His kingdom and between His people. And I've met great people uh, just like uh, through David, a friend of mine. I met Preston and I met uh, Cece and of course you. And, and it's so funny that I was supposed to pick her up from the airport and somehow she had a deal with her brother to pick her up and then in the last minute he couldn't make it so she can call you and then we be she pleased to me. meet you here no i had an appointment so you, you see what i'm saying that was awesome <laughs> that was so the awesome. god's plan you know so you, god's need you, plan. you you met cc at the airport, airport? he was my lift driver i yeah. was in uh i was like you i was afflicted waiting for her in the lift parking lot and as i was there I was praising the name of Jesus. I was covering myself with the blood and I'm going through a, uh, a chapter in my life where I'm being challenged economically. So as I was sitting there, you have, to, you have to fight. You have to find people with common ground and you gotta find people who've done it for a while because they already have the film. I, I, I just heard the Lord say he's gonna break the spirit of poverty over your life. I, I receive I, it. I was praising the name of Jesus. I was covering myself with the blood and I'm going through a, uh, a chapter in my life where I'm being challenged economically. So as I was sitting there, you have, to, you have to fight. You have to find people with common ground and you gotta find people who've done it for a while because they already have the film. I, I just heard the Lord say he's gonna break the spirit of poverty over your life. I, I receive I, it. That, yeah, I receive it. It's the spirit of poverty, God says, I'm going to break. That's what would break totally break from earlier. you yes. and completely from you. You know, where you'll not lack. Are you'll we allowed to make Baba Ganesh warm? Yeah. You know you what I mean? That's warm. coming. I receive it. I love it. That's warm. coming. And Nobody um, will make it warm. They're like, brother, no. Brother, you're a witness. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Keep um, talking, brother. Watch this. I, I also saw you God gave you an entrepreneur as well, too. Do you see that? Or not? <laughs> is it me or is it really there? He was talking and all of a sudden that happened. That, yeah. <laughs> right? That's the Lord, man. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Now, this is third party witnesses. I mean, it's not like we're. Yeah. That's the beautiful thing about when you're really filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, when you have a clean soul, God wants to show people, hello, the, the I'm right here. The Lord is telling me, seriously, Carlos, Father this is Donna Scott. Brother, you saw this? Yeah. Were you a third party witness? Brother, even you're glowing. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry? Even you have some, I mean, when, wow. when, when the Holy Spirit is present and there's like two or that. more, God wants to know that what was being said can bring life and take darkness, take death out He's and got bring one life. Bless hearts. <laughs> he take a lot of crap from people and he does the the command, what the Lord said. What Do you not that see that? I see it. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Yeah, brother. Maybe I lost what I was going to say to you. I That's lost. what we prayed about. Uh, we pray for him right Poverty. now, for for God to provide him, provide yeah. for him greatly. Oh, here it is. That here he it has is. no problem it's financially, God, God's so he telling can me, be full time. There's an entrepreneur yes. in yes. you that you're you're gonna have a business of your own. Oh, so many businesses. And you're getting ready. It's it's about to be released, brother. I don't know exactly what he's told you. You're 
uh, of your business of it, but I see it's getting ready to take off. Like what I see, you're on a runway, but you're getting ready to take off. Well, why don't we do that together? I mean, I think we, one thing that I learned is we need the blood. We need people to come together. We need different backgrounds, different personalities, because this is a powerful evangelism that can get through the grit and talk to somebody. Amen. You know, Amen. like my brother speaks Egyptian. You know, he might say the right thing to the person that just might be done and give them that life and then we have another car in our trail. So this brother, I I um I'm, I admire the Lord and uh, I really I saw you walk in tonight and you brought something. You went right on that stage. And you started talking, you know, from the Holy Spirit. So I encourage you, brother, and I'm very, very honored. And I'm, I'm, you know, I, I feel the Holy Spirit, but I feel strategic. You know, like we can start to do things and just, you know, not over plan, not plan for the Holy Spirit, but keep showing up. Yeah, man. Keep showing up, and when an opportunity is there, take it, cease it, yeah, because yeah, he needs yeah. it. We are in the last days. Bro. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes. Cece a has a prophecy that she feels like we are in the last days, and that there's a revival. Yeah, revival's here. It's so here. It's just, what are your point on that? We just got to step out into and it. Forgive her, then you know, be ready to bring in the loss, bring in the. The, um, the outcasts, you know, and the misfits. And you may not understand it, but, but God will eventually speak what I mean by that. And, the, and there's the strayers and the bums and the homeless and the prisoners. You know, he, he's not really, God's really not interested in who he already has. He's interested for people that are already lost. That's what I was telling you. We need to spread out. We need to stretch out. Yeah. Remember that night? That same thing. See, that's the awesomeness of God. I feel the spirit of oneness. All of us. God speak the same message through you, through her, through me, through Carlos, different ways. Right. Same word. Yes. Unity. Lord, help me live my life with patient faith. Please praise my weakness, with spirit, grace, grace, grace. Lord, help me live my life with patient faith. Oh, and it was seen eagerly away. Romans 8, Gagorah.